Hi, how are you going? And welcome to another Brand Talks. Today, brand loyalty and why I've been with Internode for over 12 years. For those of you who don't know, Internode is a broadband services provider here in Australia and 12 years ago, I took on Internode for our home broadband and I haven't even contemplated moving since then. And you know, the reason why is because really of stellar service, which is kind of fascinating because, you know, I'm a big believer in um, this guy's theories, Jack Trout. He's written a few books about brand positioning. This one is Differentiate or Die, and he's also written Positioning. And I do a lot of brand positioning work. You know, a big part of the marketing strategy stuff that we do is about helping to people develop a brand promise. You know, what is the thing you're going to do that's unique? The, the reason you're going to get people to choose you and not a competitor. Well, you know, one of the things that Trout talks about in this book is that, you know, it's really difficult to differentiate on service because, you know, if you say to people, well, what's different about us is that we give great customer service, you'd be like, well, you know, that's just a ticket to play, right? I'm not going to go to the people who give you bad service. But there are a few companies who have really made the delivery of fabulous service experience, customer experiences, time and time again, a really critical part of their DNA. And Internode are one of those companies. You know, years ago when I first took on Internode and I, I had occasion to ring the technical services department, I was just staggered. You know, when I got a message that said, hey, you know, it's gonna be four minutes before we answer your call. If you want to reserve your place um, in the in the call hierarchy, then just leave us your name and we'll call you back at the same spot as you would have been if you'd hung on the line. You know, a decade ago, that was revolutionary. Now, of course, you know, you, you'd say that that's something that you would expect. But, you know, right from the beginning, Internode had great customer service. And just the other day, actually, we had a problem at home. Our, our internet had been really patchy and really slow for a few weeks. And there'd been this funny sort of clicking sound in the router. So I, I rang up Internode and the guy got onto my details. And he's in technical support, right? Um, and he said, oh, you know, so what's happening? And, you know, there's this clicking and this, that and the other thing. And he said, okay, well, look, you know, I can see the last router you got was 2009. That clicking is, you know, it's dying basically. So you probably need to get a new one. You know, your other services are this. Therefore, you don't need this modem. You need that modem. And seamlessly, he was able to move into sales mode. Now, if you've dealt with Telstra or Optus, you'd be familiar with the, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in that team. I'll have to pass you on to the sales team kind of malarkey that goes on, which is really freaking irritating because as far as I'm concerned, they're one company, I'm the customer, I don't care what team or silo you're in, I just want my stuff dealt with. And that's one of the things that happens at Internode. Anyway, so the guy um, organised our new router, organised our new um, phone service. We've actually managed to get rid of Telstra for our home phone. Hallelujah, because if there's one company I hate, it's Telstra. Uh, and then the router um, arrived and I had a few problems setting it up. So I rang technical support. Now, on this particular day, the the system, their, their computer system had gone down. So the guy said to me, look, you know, I'm, I'm not familiar with that router. It's actually a new one and I, I haven't seen the manual for it. But look, I'll, while my system is, is waiting to reload, I'll see if I can diagnose what the problem is. Anyway, to cut a long story short, it ended up being a faulty power board, um, which is not something that he had come across before, but through a process of elimination and him saying, okay, well, what's happening on the dials and the lights, et cetera, and, oh, it's doing this, and, well, you know, if it's doing that, then maybe that's because of this. And so really my point is the guy had a brain, and, in fact, I haven't dealt with a technical support person from Internode yet who didn't have a brain. And didn't have the ability to actually use it and think and diagnose what your problem was instead of what so often happens, which is, oh, I can only stick to my script and then I need to escalate it to, you know, person X, Y, Z. Uh, so, you know, the problem got resolved and I, you know, after 12 years am not in a hurry to leave. I am the true loyal customer and, you know, the benefit of loyalty is, um, you know, delivered to the bottom line. You know, in my final comments, I just want to say, you know, loyal customers are really the nirvana for businesses. You know, they're resistant to price increases, they give you great feedback, they tell their friends, um, and they cost less to serve, basically. What's not to like about a loyal customer? You could take a leaf out of Internode's book. Stay tuned, though, for my next 
brand talks where I talk about someone at the other end of the scale and disturbingly the stable mate of internode IINet. IINet should be called INET because they are chasing Telstra with a bullet in terms of one of the companies I most love to hate.